Now we'll look at how the mini case was put together within Moodle. You'll see in the Moodle course we've got three quizzes, question one, question two and question three. They're all done as separate quizzes so we can stop the student from stepping back in the quiz. I'll look at the first um, question number two. When we look at it, you'll see that it is set up with certain conditions that people have to uh, uh, follow before they can access it. If we scroll down the bottom, you'll see that this is restricted access and the requirement is that they've completed question one, it must be marked as being complete. The conditions for the activity to be complete is that the student must receive a grade to complete that activity. And now I'll show you how I've implemented that. Again, we're in question two. I'll go to settings, then edit quiz. You'll see that each quiz has got two questions in it. The first one is just a placeholder question that's got a very small mark associated with it. 0 0.01. If we look at that question, you'll see that it basically is a multiple choice question. It's got two possible answers and both of the answers are regarded as being 100% correct. So that allows the computer to mark that particular uh, uh, question. The other question is the actual mini case question. And when we look at that, you will see that this is where we present new information. The original information is presented. We present some new information and then we ask the new question. This is deferred feedback. You will see here that this is where we allocate the percentage for this particular mini case. In this case, it's uh, worth 20% of the mini case. If we go back to the settings for the quiz, the overall quiz, you'll see that I've set the number of decimal places. I set first the time limit is two minutes and only one attempt is allowed. If we scroll down, we'll see that we've set the number of decimal places in the grades to be one. Uh, so that's where we get the, the effect of the, the question appearing to have no value. If we go back to the mini case course, you will see that I have described how it was implemented in this link. So you can look at that uh, to make sense of the way that is done. This and other educational adventures are linked to from this page. The URL for this page is emarkingassistant.com slash other slash educational dash adventures. Feel free to look at that whenever you wish.